Hey guys, I'm out here on the, what I'm gonna call the Fort Worth job. A uh, big custom build that I'm going to uh, document throughout. I uh, have shot a couple of videos on the makeup or the foundation construction. And so we're out here now a couple days after we poured it. We poured it on a Saturday. This is a Monday. So just wanted to come out and look at the foundation and uh, actually occurred to me to talk to you guys about a few things, including what to expect with concrete foundations. So there is a joke in the construction industry which goes, there are two types of concrete, concrete that has cracked and concrete that will crack. With the obvious uh, point being that concrete cracks. It's part of the nature of concrete. It is one of the properties it exhibits. It is undoubtedly the best material you can use for things like foundations of homes driveways, you know, we see it used for roads, everything that needs large scale structural foundational elements, concrete is our best, you know, choice to do that. However, concrete is just a mix of sand, water, and rocks. And that means there are a lot of conditions that can cause concrete to crack. Now, as a home builder, the thing that's always been extremely challenging is when you pour a foundation and a homeowner comes out and sees cracks, there can be a ton of concern. Uh, that is most common when the homeowner has no education, the builder has set no expectations. So I fully admit I did this business for years and would not think to tell people, hey, you are going to see cracks in your concrete. Here are the things to expect at the various phases of construction. And I think probably the thing I've gotten the best at over the years is this constant education, trying to manage expectations with customers. Because human nature is if we don't know something, we will make our own assumptions, right? That may be logical, but they may not be in line with how things really are. Generally, when a customer sees cracks in a foundation, they jump to or assume something is structural. There's some kind of problem with the foundation. That's why it's cracking. And that can cause people to get anxious and, and very concerned. When the reality is 99% of the cracks, especially shortly after a foundation pour like this that we see, are what we refer to as surface cracking. And it is not a structural crack, meaning it does not go inches and inches down through the foundation. It is at the surface of the concrete as it's curing. So again, with concrete being a, a mix of sand, rocks, and water, one of the things that happens is it has to cure out. We can be framing on a foundation like this in about a week, which that's our plan. It was poured two days ago, last Saturday. We are starting to frame next Monday. Uh, so it's going to have plenty of time to cure to the point that it's reached a PSI strength that it's good to start putting weight on. So what we are dealing with here is surface cracks that are a result of the concrete as it cures shrinking and separating at the surface. It's the most common trait you will see with a new concrete pour. It's the fact that the concrete is poured wet, it is curing over the next 30 days, the surface of the concrete is drying out, and as that happens, you can get contraction in the concrete. So I'm gonna overlay some hydration cracks or some surface cracks that we have on this one. Uh, I've got the camera up kind of close on those, so they may look big, but they are tiny. Um, they are below a 16th of an inch. And when this foundation has had tension put on the cables, it may actually tighten up some of those cracks. But for now, we have not put any tension on the uh, cables. And so we are just seeing the nature of being out here in North Texas where it is, I think when I checked before I got out of the truck, it's 98 right now. It's going to get to 100 today. And we are in an acreage subdivision that as you can see around me is flat, is pasture land, and the wind blows constantly. As I'm standing out here, the wind's probably blowing 10 to 20 miles an hour and it does this all the time. So the thing that will promote cracking in concrete 
is high temperatures and wind. That is because the surface of the concrete is curing at a different rate than the rest of it. When this happens, you get contraction. The surface of the concrete is contracting. It starts to pull away from itself until, boom, there's a little crack. These little surface cracks will tend to run. What's really interesting, and I'm going to see if I can show this, the concrete is still dark where, because it still has moisture content in it, but everywhere we have these tiny little surface cracks, you can see it's dry. So that's actually a good example of the fact that the concrete has dried in certain areas and it's just pulled apart. Again, not structural. It's not, there hasn't been any major shifting of the foundation or anything of that nature. The best example I can use is think about, at least if you're from Texas, I don't know what this is like in the north, northeast, where you guys get a lot of rain, it doesn't get as hot. But here in Texas, if I were to walk out into this field that this house is on, just a couple months ago when it was raining all the time here, even if it hadn't rained for a month, I'm uh, sorry, well, even a month at that point, it was cooler, it was raining a lot. If I were to go out and look at that soil, it would look normal, it would look consistent. I just went out there and I shot some video of it that I'll overlay here. And we've got cracks everywhere. All that dirt is now cracking. Exact same concept or idea happening with the concrete. So out there in the field, it now, we went from one of the rainiest springs I've seen in a long time to, I don't think it's rained in a month and it's 100 degrees every day, right? So now that ground is drying out we have what we call expansive soils in Texas. So we have clay content in these soils. As it dries up, it contracts, it shrinks, and it eventually pulls apart. That's why you see the cracks in the ground. Same concept happening here with these foundations, but it's just on the surface. Hey guys, I'm finishing up this video from the office because I apparently lost the last take of it that I did. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this kind of stuff is educational for you, especially if you are building a home or looking to build a home. It helps so much to understand the things that happen in construction. I think one of the biggest um, challenges is just most people, understandably, that have a home built don't know that these kind of things happen. Cracking in concrete, bowing in wood, and a lot of builders aren't great about telling their customers that this kind of stuff's going to happen. So these videos will hopefully educate people, help you not make assumptions and have you know good expectations about the process when you finally do it. Please click subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more of these videos I'm going to make, and hopefully the more people out there that will get to see them and will be educated. Appreciate it. See you guys soon.